Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'm going to stay local and stay in the UK and take a look at one of their very first production run of the brown bag single meal rations. So let's get this on the table and see what this pack contains. So, as you can see, I now have here on the table this British Army single meal ration pack. Now, this is menu seven, and it is one of the first of the production runs of the new brown bag single meal packs. Um, the first productions were released to general sale early because they had a little typing error. It says production date 0420, when actually that's the expiry date. So I think they released these uh, to general sale because of that very, very early. Um, and I managed to get hold of a couple. This was the last of those. So let's see what menu 7 of the 2018 um, British single meal packs actually contain. So... Moving on to the first time of the brown bag um, for the British Army, this was. I've done a few of these now. They never seem to hold up as well as the old box. They just haven't got the protection. But let's see how this single meal, menu 7, has lasted. So, knife to open. No easy tear open slits on these. So let's see what we actually have inside. So first off, we have some... Traditional barbecue jerky. We have the main meal for this one. It's a little bit squashed. It's the steak, vegetables, and dumplings. So steak and veg. Very nice. We also have some raisins, sultanas, and currant mix. So some dried fruit. There is some oat digestive biscuits. There are two apple flavour energy drink mixes. Both make 500 mils. I should imagine it's because the British canteen is 1000 mil or 1 litre. So the two would go in the canteen and make a full canteen of energy drink. We have a smaller accessory pack which contains the spork, tissues, TPs, and looks like tea and coffee. We'll have a look at those later. Now, what was for the first time with these packs is a flameless ration eater or FRH. They're now standard in all the British Army ration packs, but this first production run, it was the first time we started to see the FRHs appear in the British packs. We have a very soft mixed fruit nugget bar or nougat bar, depending on, depending on the world where you're from. And just checking there's nothing else in there. We have the customary now prize draw feedback entry sheet where the troops can feed back on what they think about the contents and have a chance of winning a prize. So that is the contents of the first production run menu 7 single meal ration pack for the British Army. So let's get these on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, I now have here laid out on the tray the contents of this British single meal menu number seven of the first production runs. Um, I've preheated the mains, boiled them in water for about eight to ten minutes. So before we start, let's have a quick look at this much smaller reduced accessory bag. So it's in a nice, strong, sturdy Ziploc bag. Of course, we have the British Spork, well-renowned now. We have the usual classic TP or tissues, whichever need first arises. Put those to one side, don't think we need them yet. We also have a three in one tea and a three in one coffee. Now I used the tea on the last re review I did, the British Review. Very good tea, hardly tell, well you can't tell it's made by a three in one mix, you think it's a fresh brew, so I'm putting that to one side and I'm going to use the three in one coffee this time. So I'll get the coffee out, of course. The well-known Beyond the Beaten Track anti backlight, but just one instead of the usual two. And 
the customary gum. Uh, I think this one is actually spearmint, so a couple of spearmint briquettes. So, let's start where I like to normally start, and that is with the drinks. So, as I say, I'm going for the three in one coffee today. I don't know if you can just see that there. So, as I said, the three in one teas are excellent. They are amongst the best, I think, in the world. I've tasted many sort of instant teas, instant coffees now, and I do think that British 3-in-1 tea in the new packs are among the best. So, a 3-in-1 coffee mix. Obviously, with a 3-in-1, if you don't have sugar, you're a little bit um, stuck for choice. But, there we go. It's all about energy, keeping you moving. So, I think just for a couple of meals, if you're a troop out in the field, one of the troops in the field, you're not going to grumble about a bit of sugar in your coffee when you need it most. I just use the handle of the huge spork there. The uh, bowl is a little bit big to get in the cup. So that's the tea. Next off we have the apple energy drinks and again there are two. Each of these make 500 millilitres, half a litre. A British canteen water bottle is one litre, so two makes one canteen of drink. But in this case, we've got a 350, 300 odd mil glass here, so most of this powder in a glass would suffice on one pack. So this particular one is the apple, and we'll give it we'll give it the majority of the powder, but not quite all. To one side a minute and again we'll just use the handle with cold water this time just to bring that apple drink to the top of the glass there and a quick wipe and for the main dessert, we just seem to have raisins, sultanas and currants fruit mix. There's no sticky toffee pudding or there's no um, chocolate pudding, chocolate sauce, the sort of puddings we're used to in the 24 hour packs. So it's just some dried fruit there. Huge, huge 75 gram pack. We just put a few in there just for demonstration. Move this to one side. We also have some traditional barbecue jerky so this is a relatively new addition to the UK rations I think Kings is a relatively well known brand here in the UK now jerky does seem to be getting more of a popular side dish or snack a little bit of trouble there and there is an oxygen remover in there, so we'll just empty some of these little jerky chunks, little chunks of jerky there onto the side. Again, small proportion, large pack. We also have some oat digestive biscuits. Let's get those open there. Again, five in the pack, a little bit battle damaged. These box, these brown bags offer nowhere near the detection and every bag down always seems to have smashed the biscuits or something broken in there. We have a very soft mixed dried fruits nugget or nougat. Again, depending on which part of the world you're from and how you pronounce that. This particular one is stuck to the packet, it's congealed, it's going to be very difficult to get out of the bag. Very sticky, very stuck as you can see. I should just peel back the plastic and just put it to one side and have a bite of that as we go. And have a look at the V6 gum. I've already got nuggets all over my fingers now. Let's bring my little friend back in there. So there's two little briquettes there. I'll just put the one in. And last but not least, we're down to the steak vegetables and dumplings so it's going to be basically a stew a beef stew with dumplings dumplings are very well known here in the UK they're basically a little flour lard 
mixture, put them in a stew and they float and be light and fluffy. In these packs they tend to be a little more heavy and stodgy because they've absorbed all of that liquid from the gravy. But still, should be very nice and very comforting taste of home. So, where do we start? Still got nuggets stuck on my finger. We should start with the coffee. Three in one coffee. So the sugar's already included. Mm. Nice, decent, strong coffee. Good quality. Certainly a full mug is not a problem for this. Milky, sugar, coffee, perfect. As, as an instant. I think this has to be one of the best instant mixes out of the uh, ration world and I'm not just being biased just because I'm British I do actually say as I find if this was rubbish I would equally say it's rubbish but it is a very good quality 3-in-1 coffee mm. certainly I've no problem drinking that out in the field let's have a look at the apple juice it does actually taste very much like apple um, tastes like the white of the apple uh, the sort of um, the main part if you take the skin off and just eat the white it does actually have that flavor we know it's chemical apple quite natural tasting not overly sweet not overly sugared but a nice refreshing um, natural tasting apple style drink probably no natural apple anywhere near but it's just again as near as you're going to get from a chemicalized interpretation so I think we should just go now straight to the beef and vegetables which is basically beef stew and a couple of the dumplings the dumplings there are gone a little bit a little bit firm compared to normal dumplings but beef stew potatoes carrots peas a little bit of beef there in the middle let's have a taste of that mm. that is good the vegetables still have a little bit of texture they're not overly mushy the beef is well stewed it's soft doesn't need a great deal of chewing but it does need chewing there is still beef texture there mm. quite stringy as in like a pulled beef pulled pork the gravy is rich it's beefy taste of um, steak nice rich beef gravy a little bit of the dumplings there which is basically flour grease um, and water mm. Again. much more firmer than a homemade stew and dumpling a homemade dumpling is very light very fluffy um, this is a more heavy because of the uh, absorption of all of the gravy but that said it's a very comforting very warming mm most enjoyable filling stew with dumplings and I'm certainly going to enjoy finishing that for my lunch a little bit look at the beef jerky various different pieces different sizes let's have a little taste of that it's supposed to be barbecue flavor mm. firm hard to bite hard to chew very rubber in texture it does feel like you're chewing a dried meat the barbecue is in the background not very strong certainly not the tasting like a, a barbecue sauce that you might put all over your beef while you're making a barbecue which you see as you pull apart it does look like beef strands you can see the strands of meat in there. I don't know if we can see that. Very chewy. Very rubbery. Barbecue flavour is in the background. Not the best tasting jerky I've tried. But it certainly is a chewy beef stri strip. Tasty little bit of almost like gum you could put a big chunk of that in your mouth and chew it for 10 minutes so it softens so it's almost like a beef flavored gum but personally not my favorite because I'm not a jerky fan 
but it is if you do like jerky I'm sure it's a very good very enjoyable jerky another look at this oat digestive biscuits seen these many times before now a little bit battle damaged just oats in a small cookie biscuit slightly sugared not overly sweet there's a taste of oats there could be used as a backing if we have something like cheddar cheese we could put cheese on there you could even put a bit of pate on there but it is just a little dunkin biscuit which is crisp oaty not overly sweet they've reduced the sugar content in the newer packets from the older boxes the older boxes used to have more sugar but it's still a good decent background biscuit let's try the juicer okay nice refreshing apple flavor juice let's have a look at this mixed fruit nugget bar sticky stuck to the packet and we're going to have to sort of just bite it off the plastic there not the best tasting nugget nougat has a slight background taste of now i have heard this mentioned before but i've never tasted it of paint this does one does have that background paste taste of paint i think it is the same sort of bar you find in the french rcir but it is it's sweet it's chewy a bit of comforting sweetness everybody enjoys a little bit of chocolate or a little bit of a chewy sweet bar after a meal so for that purpose it does its job very soft very soggy not survived well in the packet but it is still edible and a chewy chewy bit of nugget and nougat now these mixed raisins sultanas and currants they look a little bit past their best they don't look at their freshest but we'll give them a try just pop a few in your mouth they're fine very sweet very very sweet natural sugars um, are coming through there nice chewy a little bit past their best but still perfectly perfectly good condition I am going to need the anti back wipe I've got nugget nougat stuck all over my fingers seen many times before beyond the beaten track I think are one of the best nice big strong you could use this on your face no problem stretchy not tearing lots of moisture you could easily use this as a face cloth and a hand cloth certainly big enough to wash your face good quality again i think one of the best one of the best hand wipes in any ration just because of the size the strength and the um, durability so let's put that out of the way now finally leaving the dental gum the v6 this particular one being spearmint crispy shell firm gum quite high spearmint content as you chew you can feel the gum rubbing on your teeth it is the dental gum you can feel it a firm gum which scrubs the side of your teeth as you eat that's not a bad thing that's doing what it's meant to do clean your mouth freshen your breath nice good quality spearmint flavor lots of oil gum overall a very enjoyable very impressive meal certainly one i'd more than welcome in the field anytime so i'm going to leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye